This week we'll be going over the hard to the core achievement in Little Nightmares. This one's going to be for speedrunning the game without dying in under an hour, but there are going to be a couple of little things that we can do to kind of get around that and make this a lot easier to complete. And now, let's get to hunting. Now one cool thing that we can do to make this a little bit easier is you can actually make backups of your saves as you're doing your runs so that if you do die you just reload that save and continue it on. You would just need to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Little Nightmares, Atlas, Saved, and Save Games. I just made copies of the Save Games folder as a whole and threw it on my desktop and then whenever I needed to reload the save I just copied that back over to that folder relaunched the game, and loaded it up. So of course we're going to do a new game and we have to go through it completely without dying in under an hour. So we've got this little beginning cutscene that's going to go on. And I'm not sure if cutscenes even count for this because I think my ending time was like maybe 50 minutes, 45, 50, something like that. And as you can see, the video is a little bit longer than that, at a little bit over an hour. So some of the either loading or cutscenes do not count as time while you're in the game. Alright, so as soon as you wake up, you're going to want to jump out as soon as it lets you and then run off to the right, and if you just jump over and over again, it gets you a little bit of extra speed. In some of these places, you're definitely going to want that candle lit so that you can see where you're going. You'll go through this little hatch. And we got to crawl through the vent here. Climb over this. And go through some more vents. The first chapter is not really too bad. There's... It, it's honestly really hard to actually die here. There's not too many hard places. There's a couple later on, but for the most part, this is all pretty easy. So you go all the way up the stairs here. And we will keep on running past this thing. We don't need that. You're going to slide under here. And of course, you want to be sprinting and jumping the entire way. And you'll jump up here on the bed and through this vent and into this room. Then we're going to grab this chair right here. We're going to drag it all the way over to the door. There's some other like speed run ways that you can do this, but I'm just going to be going through the consistent easy way to do it because you have plenty of time as long as you're just kind of pushing through. So you don't have to do any crazy tricks or anything like that. But after that door's open, we're going to run up to this fridge and just climb up the fridge and then keep on going up to the right on these and you'll jump that gap and just keep on running all of these little slug the uh, leeches don't really matter you can just go ahead and run straight past them do some jumps and then go up here and pull this lever to open the door and we could jump another little gap. Make sure that you've got enough stamina. I kind of ran out there. But you do not want to die. It's at least early on, so it doesn't matter too much. But you'll go through that, pull off that plank, and come out here. You're always going to fall down into the leech pile, but as soon as you get up, just start moving to the right. You're going to have to kind of run through here and zigzag between the leeches. I always jump over that because it's a little bit tight. Then you push open the door and go across. Now, once you climb up this, you do want to kind of take your time whenever you walk along this because it's super easy to fall off if you don't line it up right. So definitely take your time lining it up and then go across. And there's another spot up here that you want to kind of pause, line up, and then jump right here at this gap. Because you don't want to just walk off or anything like that and end the run early. Because it's really easy things that you're not hurting on time that much. So you don't need to do that. But right there you can just run across and jump. 
And then, of course, we do the whole lift up the door, sprint across, jump, and slide under the door. Now in here, you just go through this hole down over here, and we have another little area that we're going to run across and climb up this little sheet rope. And then we will push through this door and immediately go back to the other side and push it to close it. That way we can grab the toilet paper box and bring that over to the lever. Do you want to jump on that, grab the lever, turn off power, and then immediately sprint over to the right. Squeeze through this door and keep on sprinting and jumping. We're going to go all the way through all of this stuff and make it through this door before power turns back on. And then we just keep on going. And then once you get to this room, you're going to want to run up to this little pillar area up here and then chill for a second. Now the easiest way to do this is literally just to run back over here to this back wall and go straight across because it actually does not see you all the way back there. And usually, if you get the timing right, you can go all the way up here. I was a little bit slow, but still, you just keep on going and nothing happens. So then you have to climb up, go up all these little grates. And then keep on going over to the right through this door. And then once you get in here, just slide under this bed and... You're going to want to wait for the uh, long-armed boy to go ahead and get out. Now, I'm pretty sure you can actually... Uh, there's a way to sprint through and get around him, but... You're not really hurting on time, and this is the safest way to do it. Of course, wait until uh, he actually leaves before you start moving. I almost went a little bit too early, but... Yeah, it's just once he turns around and starts moving that way, past that bed, you're probably good. And then you just keep on going to the right over through this other door, and go up these grates. We'll jump across the shelves, and into a little vent hole in the wall again. This is a little bit of a long one, and you're going to drop down on this side. And once you get down here... And then once you get down here, you're going to have your little hunger pain things. Now, one thing you can do to make that go a little bit quicker is jump instead of walking. Because that will be so much faster than just walking through it. Sometimes it won't actually let you jump, but... At least at this beginning one, you can jump at all the sections until you get up here to this guy that's going to give you a little piece of food. Okay. Then you can climb up these boxes in through this hole in the wall. And just keep running over to the right through all of this. Then you'll jump across this and we need to go up around here in the back. Jump across over to this, climb up the grates if you need to. Then you're going to have to climb up the grates on the left side. Jump out, grab this one and climb up some more grates. And then we can run around to the right, and right up here, you're going to want to wait a second to make sure that this thing swings back over to you. Because if you go too late or too early, you'll just end up missing it. And that's an easy way to die. But then you're going to climb up the chain and go all the way to this top little section and jump off. And then you just climb up the grate. And we're going to go up to the controls for it. And then up here, it's basically just jump up to grab this little lever. It's going to bring it up. 
Then you come over to this lever. You're going to bring it over to the right. Uh, I didn't do it for long enough right there, so I did it again. But you're going to bring it over to the right. Once it starts coming over, then you can do it to the left. Jump over to it. And we're going to ride it over to the next little area. And you can climb up the chain here, jump off over to that platform. And we can keep on moving. So in this room, we're going to grab this far left cabinet, bring it all the way out. Then bring the second one at least partially out so that we can jump onto it. And then just jump over here and grab onto that ledge. And then we can jump onto the lever. That's going to turn off the power. So then we can head through this left area. And we're going to push off this big metal box. It's going to bring a little bit of rope up here. Then we can grab onto that and ride it down. And you go for a while, do not let go, because if you let go before you get to the bottom, you're going to hurt yourself and probably lose your run. But then we're going to run over to the right and jump around all of the leeches that are falling. Go back across this bridge again. And back through this grate. And then in here. And then in here we're going to have another eye. You'll want to sit behind this uh, little area of boxes. Don't go out too soon or you're going to get spotted. You'll run to this one. And then we have to use the trash can to kind of block it as we go. And you'll have to kind of sprint to keep up with it. And you'll get to this side and then just wait for the eye to look away again. And then we can run over to the door on the right. And then we can jump all the way down here. And this is going to start moving. Just jump across. And then you don't have to run past this. I always forget and don't jump on the box. But if you just jump on the box and then jump over, that's all you have to do. And then go up here. And that's the end of the first section. So then we've got this little loading screen. I don't think this counts to your time, but I'll keep it in just to keep it in. And we're going to go all the way up this giant staircase. We have, I think, like three giant flights of stairs to go up. And then up here, we can jump on the little box and through this little hole in the wall. And... In here, we're going to grab this suitcase and drag it all the way over to this little switch that's on the wall on the right side of the room. And you just jump on it to jump onto the switch to pull it down. Then as soon as you get that done, you can jump onto the bed and jump onto the little uh, shelf thing. All the drawers that you can climb up. And then, of course, you just jump off and get down here to where this key is, because we need that to unlock the door. So you'll just throw it down, then go grab it, and unlock the door on your right. You have to push through the, the wall here. It's kind of hard to push through, but just do that while you've got the key. You have to throw it up on the ledge, or on the stair, step up. Then you can unlock the door. Now in here we've got a little monkey. You're going to have to grab the monkey and throw it at the switch for the elevator. And then in a second it'll come up. We're going to grab the monkey and take it with us to make this part quick. So then in here, you're just going to do the same thing. Throw the monkey at the button. Make sure you line it up, though, because otherwise you're just going to do that. So there we go. Now, once we get down to the bottom, we're going to go back through on the left side. You have to wait a second for it to get all the way down, though. Okay, so then we can go through. 
We're going to run all the way through here, but we're going to stop for hunger pains. And of course, whenever you can, make sure you jump through hunger pains to get a little bit of extra speed. And pretty shortly after this, we're going to end up running back through here, so you will, uh, you will see this tunnel again very shortly. So then finally we get in here where there's some rats eating some meat, and we are going to come up here and grab our meat. Which, of course, is going to be where we actually get trapped in a second. We see Mr. Longarm there. Puts us in the cage and takes us up here where we're going to wake up in a cage. There we go. So, if you just start hitting left and right over and over again, it kind of gets you to wake up a little bit quicker. You'll see that you kind of like... It, you'll slowly be going up, and then you'll jerk up, and... Yeah, so right there. Kind of saves maybe, like, a second. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, because... As long as you're just going through the run, you're gonna be fine. Getting it done within an hour. But, once you get out of that by going left and right, then we can drag this cage over to... This little... I guess, handle that's hanging down. And that's going to pull the door open. Just start going left and right so that you can swing. And you're going to want to swing over to the door. Sprint through and slide. And then immediately climb up that door. And we'll jump up here. Go through this little hole in the wall. And we're going to be in the tall boys layer. So if you just run across these, I guess they're bandages? I don't know what they are. But you run across those, jump up here, and just keep sprinting, jump onto these, and go under this little hole. He shouldn't hear you if you do it quickly like that, so as long as you do that, you can get in here, grab the lever, and start turning. And basically, once you get like a full rotation in, you're going to hear him, then you can just stop and go. Then we'll drop down here and go through some more vents. <clears throat> Which this whole vent area, or really all the vent areas are straightforward, you just you just go. There's not really other options or puzzles. But once you get here, you're going to jump out onto the suitcase and then start going as fast as you can straight across to this other suitcase. And you'll want to hold left click or whatever your interact button is once you get up to it. And then immediately jump up over here to this one. And same thing, but going down to the right. Get on this one, and then jump up here, and you should be good. So then in here, we're going to keep on going and up these stairs. We're about to have a chase, so just keep on going to the right, and start jumping, because jumping does get you a little bit of extra speed, and you can slide under that pipe there, and then keep on going, jumping, and as long as you're sprinting and jumping, you should be good, so you get to the elevator, then just hide in this little box. And then he's going to come in here with us, but he, uh, as you can see, he cannot see. So he's not going to actually see us. He's just going to feel around until we get to the floor up here. And then this little gnome is going to come out and distract him. As soon as he goes out, then we can come out. And we're going to follow where he went. And then in here, we're just going to push this box over to the left. 
and then run over to the right side of the plank, fall down here, and jump over this. And then basically we just come up to this little wooden ladder area and wait, because he's doing his thing in here. We need him to turn around and go to the other room. So as he's going that way, we can get up, we can grab this little monkey. And you're going to kind of throw it in the like back left part of the room. And then sit here in this little hole in the wall until he gets uh, like halfway through the door. Then you can keep on sneaking. And if you want to be extra safe, you can throw a monkey again. I just go ahead and jump up, start going up this. Because he's not going to catch you as long as you do it that way and then you just climb up jump up here push this box out of the way and go through the hole in the wall then we have more vent sections where you just you know keep on going it's all very simple once you get to the vents uh here he's not going to see you you can just you can just sprint across Open up this door by pushing it over. And then in here, you're going to want to keep on sprinting, but right here, kind of stop and crouch down. Don't get too close. Once he turns over this way, you can grab the shoe and then walk over here and throw the shoe up to hit the button to open the door. And then you can sprint. And you can just keep on going. The uh, clocks start going off and kind of deafen him, so he's not going to chase too hard. But we just run through here, go through the door, and come up here. And you'll have to climb up the bookshelf. And at the top of it, we're gonna sit, we're just gonna sit here for a little bit until the piano swings over and then jump onto it. And then it will slowly swing over to the other side. We can jump off of it, grab onto this bookshelf, and climb up. And then once we get close to the top, we're going to stop and wait for him to leave. And then just kind of crouch walk behind him. You can get decently close to him, just don't get too close or he'll, you know, sense you and turn around and grab you. But we'll keep on going. And then climb up this stack of books. And then just kind of crouch walk around here. That way he doesn't see you or hear you and try to grab you from below you. He is going to reach up right here, but... I don't know, he, he doesn't really... He doesn't really uh, get you when he does that, so you just kind of keep on going. Even if you knock stuff off, doesn't really matter. And then once you get here, you can basically just jump down and sprint over to the left. Climb up this little stack of books. And through this hole in the wall. And then pretty quickly, you're going to want to grab this little lever here. Toss it by the door. Run over to the TV. And eventually... Push the button to turn it on, and then sprint all the way back over the door so that you can grab the lever. And eventually he will open the door to come watch his favorite show. So as soon as he gets a little bit outside the door, then you can sneak on by. He's gonna be he's gonna be stuck there for a little bit. Then we can just run over here, go under this little table, and through the bookshelf. And then keep on sprinting down here, and through this hole under this bookshelf. And then through the door. And we can come up to the thing to go ahead and crank this. And this is going to bring our hanging piano all the way up to this area. You basically do full two full cranks of it. And then go ahead and jump off, grab onto that, and jump off the piano to this side. And then we can climb through the little, little hole in the wall. 
Then you're going to be here with a minecart, which you're going to just have to drag all the way over here, but don't go all the way to the steam because the steam will kill you. So you just come up to about this spot, then run over to the other side, push it over the rest of the way. And then once you've got it up on top of it, you can come over here, sprint and jump over the little bottom gap, and then keep on bringing it over all the way to the other side. Because basically what we have to do is get it as close as we can to the door, and then jump on top of it and jump onto the door to go ahead and turn that knob. And then we can swing on through. You don't want to let go too early, or if you do, you want to kind of move over to the left because you've got that giant gap there. You don't want to fall to your death right there either. But then at the other side, you can climb through this vent and come up here. And we will keep on going. Once you get to that first hole, just kind of crouch down here. He's going to reach through this side. Once he goes up to the top, then you can go ahead and sneak through. After you get a little bit past, you can just start sprinting, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to drop down here and sprint and start jumping. Because he is going to chase you. This is one of the parts that can be a little tricky, maybe. I don't know, it, it wasn't too bad. You just kind of climb up on this little back corner. Wait for him to reach across. Jump over to the grate here and then pull straight to the right, and that'll pull that off. You have to do the bottom piece of it first. Um, I tried doing the top one, and it did not work when I tried it the first time, so definitely go for the bottom one first, and then you just do the same thing, and then come to the top, and boom. Long arm dude is gone. Um, avoid that hand, because it, it's just going to cost you more time. But then we can, of course, go through here and through the little vent hole up on the right. And then that's going to be the end of the second section. We're going to move on to, I think it's the kitchen next. But we'll go ahead and go through here and up this ladder. And then once we get up here, we're going to run over to the right. And we're kind of... You'll want to get on this body. That way you can easily grab onto one of the hooks that come by. I say easily when I miss the first one, but... Yeah, you, uh, you just grab onto a hook, and then hold on as you're just kind of making your way up to the kitchen. You see one of the chefs sitting up there. We're going to see him up close pretty soon. And then up here, it's going to go ahead and make you drop. And then from up here, we're going to run over to the right. Of course, you get more hunger pains. And as soon as we can move, we're going to start jumping to save a little bit of time. We've got a few rats running around and some traps. Don't step on the traps because those will also hurt you pretty bad. But just keep on jumping and moving to the right until you get up to this one where it's going to be stuck in a trap, and you're just going to come right over here and eat it. Okay, so now we can move a little bit faster. We're going to jump up here and through this door. And then keep on going. Of course, you want to jump up on this and come over here. Now, this part is a little glitchy, so if you push 
from the wrong part of this little thing, it, you just get you just kind of keep slipping off. So you have to get right on the edge so that you have leverage and then push it. So it's a little tricky with that spot, but to just basically get to the edge closest to you and then you can run through. But we'll come through this door where there's a trail of blood. We're going to push this cart all the way over here. That way we can jump on through this little window. And in here we've got a little bit of ingredients and then shortly after that we're going to go through this little hole and kind of stick to the back but keep crouched and sneak on through. We've got the first chef right there. You just keep on sneaking all the way down here through the stairs and then we're going to stick to this closest to the camera side and you can sprint at that point and just sprint all the way around here and then climb up this white shelf back here and once you get up top you're basically safe just jump up onto the beam and we're gonna walk across there you do not want to fall off here um, I, you shouldn't die from fall damage at this point I don't think but then you have to deal with the chef and the added time and all that stuff so you definitely want to be careful while you're up here. Go all the way to the left and climb up these grates. And then you've got this hole in the wall with another vent that you can go through here into a bathroom. We're going to keep on going to the left and into this little hallway area. Now before we go further, we're going to come up here and hit this to open up the elevator. And go all the way to the left into this door. Now I don't know if you actually need to crouch here, but I crouch through just to make sure that he doesn't wake up until I get up to this point. But you're going to want to climb the little cabinet back here, or this, uh, this giant shelf. So you want to climb all the way up, and then he's going to turn the light on. You're just going to chill up here. After a, a second or two, they are going to leave. And then you can climb down. Just be careful not to jump from too high or you'll kill yourself. And then you can climb up here, grab this key, and just wiggle it off. So then, because we opened the elevator earlier, we can just grab the key, run all the way to the elevator, and take it down. We don't have to drop it or anything like that. So this saves you a little bit of time from not having to do that part but we'll go right down here and then down here we're gonna go over here through this little gap again but this time we're gonna go closest to the camera and crouch down under this table and then as he goes into the other room, then we can keep on going straight through this hole off this table. Keep on crouching, and then about here at the oven, you can start just, just running. Run under the table, and keep as close to the camera as you can. That way he doesn't see you. You can run all the way to this door, use the key to unlock it, and push on through. Then you'll sprint down through here, climb up onto this little table here, jump up and through this vent. Now we're in the meat grinding room where we're gonna where we're gonna jump into this little dumb waiter and go all the way up. Then up here we've got a piece of meat that's on the table here. You gotta kinda get behind it and then push it off. And then we're just going to drag the meat all the way over here to this area where the first piece of meat is. Then we're going to go over to the left and climb up here. And then basically you just grab onto the hook and swing over to the piece of meat right here. And then it'll slide off. And then we can drag that piece of meat over to the little trap door right here. Now 
Now you do have to Now you do have to kind of angle it in the right way or it's not going to go over the ledge. So I had to go around to the other side and drag it around to get it to actually fall down, but then we can go back down the dumbwaiter. All the way to the meat grinder. Sausage maker thing. And climb up on the table. We're going to pull this little thing to open that up. And then start cranking to churn out some sausage links. And we're basically just getting this low enough that we can grab it and swing over to the other vent that's on the right side. Of course, in order to do that, you do have to jump, so make sure you jump there instead of just walking off the table. But there we go. Then you just swing across and jump into that. Then we can climb through some more crates, or not crates, we can climb through some more vents. And then down here into this uh, little bit of a frozen chilled room, you're going to go all the way up here, up to the elevator. Then you're going to pull the lever and then run back over to the left pretty quickly. Because you want to get into this little crate that's sitting here so that we can hide from this chef. So he's going to look around, shake a box, pull out some cheese, things that chefs do. Now as soon as he starts walking around, he's going to come right over here. And while he's facing away, you're going to run out and to the right, then down in the elevator. He's going to try to chase you, but we're going to come up here. And very quickly, you need to run over to the right and jump into this vent. And then we're just going to sit here for a little bit, because he's going to follow up right behind us. Well, I say right behind us, but it takes a little bit. So there we go. He's going to come in here. He is not going to see where we went. So he's just going to go off to the left. Now at this point, we can drop back down. And we'll walk up to this door, go ahead and crouch down and go up underneath the table up here. And then we're going to do the same thing, just go on this far back wall, go underneath the tables. But once we get under here, we're going to want to wait a second. Because in a second, he's going to turn around and come right up above us and do whatever he's doing up here. He'll do that for a second and then he'll go back over to the meat. Once he does that, we can go ahead and finish going over here, jump onto this little table, crawl through this hole, and we're going to go up to the uh, meat grinder, I guess. We're going to hit the button to turn it on and then sprint, slide through that hole, and run all the way over here to the table in the middle of the room to grab the key. And then keep on moving and go this way, all the way to the right. Go back down into the elevator. And then we can use this key to unlock the door on our right. Now of course he heard you and he's going to be chasing you. So you're going to unlock the door right here. Push open the door. And he's coming right behind you, so you're going to hide in this little crate right here. Now, technically, you can make it if you pull down the little uh, garbage disposal chute here. If you pull it open and then jump up quick enough, you can make it before he gets in here. But the safer way is just hide under here. He'll leave, and then you can do that. So you're going to jump up here, then jump over, grab this, pull it down jump back on here, jump into it, and fall down. Then at this point, you can go to the far right, climb up here, go through this little vent. And we're going to go all the way down here. 
You're not going to pop up in this first one. We're going to keep on going because there's another opening. So then right here in front of the center, there's another opening. We can just jump up and sprint this way. And then you can just slide under this sink here and wait because they they saw you, but they're going to come over here and not they, they're not going to have any idea where you went. Sometimes one will go on the right side of you. Just if he does, just chill here and wait for them to leave. So like he went up there, he's looking under that stuff. I started to kind of creep up, but as soon as he starts walking, then you can sneak past. Go all the way to the right into this room. Now if they spot you, now if they spot you, you just want to go under the table and then get in this corner. Usually they won't spot you, so this added a little bit of time to mine. But this back corner right here, they're not going to get you in. So it's kind of like a safe spot that you can reset in. But once he leaves, then we can go ahead and sneak back out. And we can jump up onto the table to this lever. And you're going to want to pull it all the way to the right. And then jump down and crawl under the table again. And then, of course, get in that corner just to make sure they don't grab you. And then once he goes back over here to do some dishes, you can sneak past and go all the way down to this sink again. Now, you want to keep on moving. Try not to let him get any time. But once you come out to this spot, just start sprinting. Jump up onto this and then jump onto the thing of plates and then they're not, they're not going to get you while you up while you're up here but once you're up there just grab onto the next hook and ride it on out now it should be going this fast if it's not then you need to reload that because if it goes too slow it's going to add a lot of time but right here is a pretty tough spot in the middle of these plates you're going to you're going to want to jump down so that you can jump onto that and then start running, sprinting, and jumping so that you can get some distance. Go under this table and then keep on doing the same thing. Go all the way to the right up here. Get on these crates and you're going to want to jump on the hook. Whatever the closest hook to you is, you need to jump on that because if you wait just a second or two more than I did, they're going to grab you and that's going to end the run. I think that's probably the toughest spot in the game. So if you make it through that, honestly you should have no issue with the rest of it. But we'll go through here, we'll run across this giant pipe, and at this point we're going up to the guest area part of the game, which is pretty close to the end. We don't have too much left. But you'll go over to the right, climb up this very long ladder, which I guess this is as good of a time as any while we're climbing up these ladders because it takes so long. Um, I guess at this part, don't sprint off, just kind of slowly walk your way out because it's such a little spot that you could just fall off. You don't want to do that. You want to get on the chain and start climbing that up. But we will climb this for a while. So now is probably as good of a time as any to uh, go ahead and mention, if you're still watching this, and you're using these guides, make sure you subscribe, like the video, all that good YouTube stuff. And if you really want to support the channel, we've got the memberships as low as 99 cents, so very, very low, because YouTube is cool and lets you do that. But yeah. So we're going to climb all the way up to this hole up here. And then, once we finally get to go through there, we're going to go across this very carefully. This isn't too tight of a walk, but still, you don't want to walk off the edge. Especially this far in.
And then, of course, we're officially in the next chapter. We're going to drop down here, pull this plank off the wall. Keep going to the left. Now, this pipe, you also want to be very careful. Get it lined up and then just hold left to go across it. And then you can go up here and climb up this area. And then we'll go through the right and over here you're going to jump across these lights. Still nothing too bad on this chapter. This, this chapter is not too bad. It's um, It's got one part that can be a little weird, but I don't know. I didn't really have issues with it. But you'll run all the way down here. Still no danger at this point. Squeeze through another door. Uh, this is going to be the first part where you could end up dying. This guy is going to just knock the table over to start chasing you. Just go ahead and sprint and jump. And you'll be plenty fast enough just to jump over here and keep on moving. Now he's going to try to keep chasing you. You just jump up on this little stool and then jump up on the stack of plates. Then jump onto this. And you're going to want to swing the lantern across so that you can jump over here to the window. Jump out there. Now this is the other part that could be a little tough, maybe. I didn't have issues with it, but I've heard that other people have. You just come all the way to that, down to the end, jump on this little stool, then onto the table, and you basically just zigzag through and kind of jump over them whenever they try to grab you. So like right there, I touched his hand, but I jumped over it. And then you can jump up here, jump across, grab onto this, and climb all the way up. And then up here, we're going to jump onto this floating dinner tray thing. And then jump up on the stool and over the railing and go all the way to the left. Uh, these guys are going to try to start coming after you, but uh, they're super slow. You just jump up here, jump off this, grab the lantern and swing over to this side. Now up here, we have another little chase that we're going to go through, but it is a little weird he's you're gonna jump all the way up here he's gonna start chasing you then you're gonna jump onto this board just to wait here for him he's gonna get stuck so you just jump off of his butt and go ahead and run slash jump all the way over here to the left and slide under here and then at this point we can go through the grates or the the whatever the bars we're going to run all the way to the left because a chef is coming and we need to run into the bathroom and hide under the sink. So the chef's going to come in here. Uh, somehow he knew that we were running around here. He's going to look for us, but he will not find us. And then whenever he closes the door, it's going to knock a couple of cans off. We're going to go right out here, grab a can, and throw it through the window. Then we can jump through, grab onto the, the bars back here, climb all the way back up. Then come back, squeeze through these bars, and we're going to run along the pipe up here. Once you get through this hole, make sure you get on the pipe that's closest to you. That way you can keep on going and just run straight across. Then we can drop down onto this shelf area and go into the elevator. Now, outside the elevator, we're going to run down here and over to the right. And here you're going to want to make sure that you kind of keep sprinting and jumping, but stay closer to the camera. Not too close so that you don't get stuck on anything, but you're going to want to not be on that outside wall where they're all coming through. And then just keep on running and jumping. 
all the way up here, you're going to go under this first table. Go through these doors. And then immediately go down these stairs. Don't jump though, because just running is going to be a little bit, uh, a little bit quicker. You'll get past that first cabinet and then have to jump over that second. And then you can get on the table and just keep on running until you jump onto this lantern and swing your way over to the next area. And then at that point, we can squeeze through this little area and we're gonna come up here and start having hunger pains again. And I think this is the last time that we have hunger pains if I remember correctly. But we're basically done with the game at this point. The last section is not hard at all. There's like two spots where you could die, but they're super easy to avoid. So we'll go right up here and we will meet our DLC friend over here. He's going to try to give us a sausage because we spent three DLC things trying to do all that stuff. And well, we're just going to eat him. It's a, it's an interesting way to uh, tie the DLC into the main game. Very cool. I do like that. But then you're going to jump over to the right, go through the window. And we're going to come all the way up here, climb up this, and we're going to meet the lady. Of course, she's going to go into the elevator, so we have to run all the way over here, grab a little bit of a can, throw it at a button. And if you miss the button, you got to throw it again. There you go. It's going to take a second for the elevator to, elevator to come up, but once it does, you can go ahead and go in that, and this is going to be the last section. This one's definitely the quickest. We're going to come out of the elevator and basically just start running to the right as far as we can. And then once we get to the stairs, we're going to go up and start wrapping around over to the left. And then come back to the back and through this left door. Now in here, you're going to want to kind of slow down about where the middle of that wardrobe is and just crouch down and walk all the way over here. But make sure you're sticking closest to the camera where you can, because if she notices you at all, she's going to turn around and kill you. So you want to just sneak past and then you'll be good to go. Now in this far left room, we're just going to run all the way over to this urn or vase, whatever this is, this jar on the table. We're just going to push it over because it's got a key in it. So we'll get that key out. She's going to leave when she hears the jar break, but then she's not going to try to do anything to us. So we're just going to take the key and sprint all the way back over to the right and then all the way back down the stairs. So then we get to go all the way down the stairs and there's going to be a locked door on our right. Once we get down here, we're going to use the key on that. Okay. So then we basically just keep on running all the way to the right as far as we can. She's going to come out and kind of chase us here, but you just keep on running and slide under here. She is a little bit on the faster side when it comes to the different enemies, but she's still not going to catch you there as long as you just keep running. But then we'll keep on going as far to the right as we can. She is, uh, she is in here with us, but she's not going to do anything. So then once you get over here, you're going to pull a plank off the wall and keep going to the right. And in here, we've got the mirror that we will use to defeat the lady. We'll just take that and go back over to the big room on the left. And here she is standing here. 
Now this is the very last thing where we're gonna have a fight and could die. But basically you just run up here with a mirror, get in the middle of whatever light there is, and then wherever she tries to come at you from, you just point the mirror at her, and that'll be one hit to her. So each time you do that, the light's gonna move. Um, at the end, it'll kinda stick the same spot, and you can stand there and just keep on turning, but at least for now, you have to keep running back and forth to wherever the light goes. Which I think it takes uh, like six or seven hits before she finally goes down. So there was two. This is going to be number three. Sometimes she'll do this thing like right here where she kind of circles you. You just kind of have to keep waiting for her to actually push. Like right there. And then generally whenever it comes down to this bottom circle right here, so I guess the fourth circle, that's where it's going to stick there for a few, a few rounds. So she'll be circling around, push, and then you can hit her. And then I think the light should stay here at this point. So I think that was five. So I want to say there's six times that she comes out before she finally goes down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was six. May have been seven. But at this point... Alright, you know what? I bet it is 6, because your name is 6, so of course they would do that. That would make so much sense. Not really, but, I mean, why not? If your character's gonna be named 6, it better take 6 shots to beat the final boss. But at this point, we're just gonna slowly make our way over to her. I guess this is the last time you have hunger pains, but, you know, you just come up here, and bite her neck because we need her special powers. But yeah, that is basically going to be it. At this point, you just kind of have to sit here for a little bit. And then once it comes back up to the next screen, where we can actually move, you pretty much just hold W until the achievement pops up. So yeah, right here, you basically just hold W once the doors open. And then six is going to go through sucking the souls out of these people. Eating them the way that the lady was. She's getting, she's getting her revenge here. But I'm just going to fast forward through this up to the point where you do get the achievement. Because that is all there is to the hard to the core achievement in Little Nightmares. Now with that one out of the way, be sure to check out my playlist with my 100% Little Nightmares Achievement Guide, or whichever one of my videos YouTube recommends.